and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi instructed on Wednesday to depend on domestic components in carrying out projects of Decent Life Initiative amid a shortage in international supply chains. During a meeting to follow up the progress report of a number of projects related to the initiative aimed at promoting rural areas and the countryside, President El Sisi said the move would further help localizing the industry and depending on local technology. The head of state propped the first stage of the initiative and and steps of its implementation at the Republic's level, in addition to procedures taken according to the nature and circumstances of every governorate. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassam Radi said the meeting tackled challenges emerged between the planning stage and concrete practices, in addition to procedures being taken to overcome any difficulties. The meeting also reviewed the outcomes of the coronavirus crisis and the Ukraine war on supply chains, taking into consideration the unprecedented size of work within the framework of the Decent Life Initiatives projects, which are considered the biggest in its kind throughout national projects in Egypt. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli greeted President Abdel Fattah Sisi on Wednesday on the occasion of Hijri New Year. Madbouli confirmed vows of continuing serious work and sincere efforts to push forward the process of development and construction to achieve the country's prosperity and welfare. Minister of Interior Mahmoud Tawfiq also sent a congratulatory cable to President El Sisi on the new Hijri year, in which he reiterated that the occasion marked the values and manners of sacrifice and resistance in a message which aims at reaching the nation's security and stability. Meanwhile, State Mufti Dr. Shawqi al and Parliament Speaker Hanafi al greeted the President on the occasion, presenting the sincere wishes of peace and prosperity for the whole world. The Border Guard forces intensified efforts during the current month at the 